following lecture is brought to you by the boot camp subcommittee of the committee on resident education of the society of neurological surgeons welcome to the third module dural closure and duraplasty when opening the dura caution must be used to not injure the underlying cortical surface an initial cut is carefully made to expose the cortex and the dura is elevated to visualize the underlying cortical structures. A scissors is then carefully used to open the dura, constantly visualizing the cortical surface, and elevating the scissor tips away from the surface to prevent any unwanted injury. In order to increase exposure and maintain visibility, Dural tack-up stitches are used. The stitch is placed through the edge of the dura and tented away. The initial step in performing a cranioplasty is to place a piece of dural synthetic substitute over the dural opening after the dural edges have been approximated. The dural substitute is trimmed using scissors and forceps down to an approximate size of the exposed dura. It is okay to overestimate the size of the exposed dura. Once the dural substitute has been approximated and trimmed using forceps and scissors, it is then applied over the exposed dural area. The dural substitute may also be secured to the dural edges using stitches. In this case, the corners are secured first and instrument ties may be used. You can see here three knots are used to secure each dural edge. The stitches may be interrupted or running, depending on surgeon preference. You can see here the edge of the dural substitute. Once the dural substitute has been secured at the edges, the remainder may be stitched together, again, using interrupted or running stitches. In this case, a running suture is going to be used. Tension is maintained at the base, and the stitch is carefully pulled through. Again, as you can see with each stitch, tension is maintained at the base to keep the dural substitute well approximated. The stitches should be evenly spaced and care must be taken to not injure the cortical surface with the needle. Here is another view of that same technique, putting the stitch through the edge of the dura, then through the dural substitute, pulling it through while maintaining tension at the base. As you can see, the stitches are evenly spaced and care is used to not injure 
the cortical surface below the dural substitute with the needle edge. Here is the final completion stitch, approaching the other tack up stitch, contralateral to the initial placement. Again, instrument ties are used. Three is sufficient in order to have a secure knot. And then these edges are cut using a scissors, leaving enough of a tail. Dural substitute must be secured 360 degrees. Here is the second side being secured in the same manner. Again, when the initial stitch is reached, an instrument tie is used. Three knots are performed. The anchor, and then these stitches are cut, leaving approximately one centimeter of tail. Once the dura has been closed and the dural substitute has been placed, cranial flap fixation is the next piece 